Islam, first and foremost, congratulations. You've got some ice there on your shin. Is that from throwing the kick? Yeah, this guy, real nuts, you know, his head so hard. Obviously, you were very successful in this one. You told me that you wanted to prove that that last one was a fluke, that it was close, and you will never have a fight that close again. How much did that preparation come into play here against Alexander Volkanovsky? You wanted to prove that he couldn't compete with you. No, the fight is with Volkanovsky first fight that so difficult because for the title fight I fight, I prepare four months and after that after the title fight after when I stepped from the cage I start my new camp for the Volkanovsky and it's so long and make me you know some like tired because like seven months I'm in the in the way, you know, always training. That's why I don't have some time for the recovery celebration, the victory, like when I won the belt. And, uh, you know, when you're professional fighter, you need some time for the recovery. After fight, you have to take rest like a couple of weeks because you have to give your body sometimes. But here I fought in Australia and I rest a couple months and I start my camp before like three, four months. and. My preparation, it's, you know, we did in the camp everything what we have to do, what we prepare, what we planning to do, you know. That's why it's fight uh, is easy for me. It certainly looked easy. You know, when people thought, okay, this one could end by strikes, well, most likely they were assuming it was an Alexander Volkanovsky victory if there were striking involved. But do you feel like you just proved to the world that you can be dangerous and deadly everywhere? Yeah, I'm a dangerous now. People, maybe some people underestimated my striking, but I told I can strike with anyone. This guy, one of the best striker in the UFC, and I just show my level. You know, I am not just wrestler. I am not just grappler. I always training. I am an MMA fighter, and people have to know I am a best. MMA fighter in the world right now. Do you believe you should be number one in that pound for pound list come Monday? I don't care. They put or not. I beat number two and uh, it's not my job to put me in number one or number three. Keep him number two, keep me in number three. That doesn't matter. I know it's also not your job to pick who you fight next, but you know that I have to ask it. When would you like to get back in there? This was a single round fight. I know there was a lot of preparation that went into it, though. Is there anyone that stands out in this division? Is it Charles Oliveira again? Is it someone like Justin Gaethje? What does it look like? Honestly, in the social media day, I told, hey, I feel like I already have two opponents, you know, Gaethje and Oliveira. Okay, I will be beat next Charles and... Uh, Gage still gonna wait for me, but it's not something correct, you know. That's why I think they have to put the two guys each other, and uh, we will know a real contender. Maybe. This is my opinion, but this is not my job. Well, you're the champ, so your opinion does matter. We will let you go. I know that you have a lot of people here to celebrate with, but I also know that you're ready to get home and see that beautiful family of yours. Congratulations, Islam. We always appreciate your time. It is a thing of beauty to watch you compete. Thanks. So Thanks.